Hey guys, this is Hong Bango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Rada here. She lent me her canvas because I decided to do a video only with clean and vegan brands. And in most of my video, I use them, but sometimes I mix a little bit of everything and there's a lot of requests to use mainly just clean and vegan. And here they are. I know there are so many brands out there and I don't have all of them. And of course, we don't use many products. I'm slowly gonna do more and more video using these brands so you can see it more. I'm sorry I don't cover all the brand, but here's a start and I hope you enjoy the video. Give the video always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumb up, share it, and don't forget to follow both Rada and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I'm used is the lip balm. This one is from Tatcha. Actually, I'm going to use all the skincare from Tatcha today. This is a beautiful, clean product. The second product I'm using is the eye cream. As I mentioned in every video, be very gentle with the eye area. Apply the product very gentle like this. The next product I'm using is the serum. It is Memory Serum Concentrate. You can press the product in the face. As I mentioned in every video, give your face a lot of love. The last product is the Dewy Skin Cream. This is one of the beautiful face cream for under makeup. It's very hydrating. Give your face a little massage, deep puff in the skin. For foundation, concealer, and color corrector, I'm used all from NARS. Right, I have beautiful skin. Like she doesn't need too much at all. Just a little bit of the color different right here. So I'm just gonna use a color corrector first before I apply the foundation. And the orange corrector, it will cancel out some of the darkness around the eye first before I even apply anything. And you can see that it's instantly disappear the color a little bit around the nose here as well. And I also put a little bit around the mouth area where you see the color difference. Because if you're doing this, you don't have to use too much concealer at all. It's already cancel all the color for you and the concealer just to even out a little bit at the end. But if you don't, you end up having to add so much concealer and the color may end up looking gray if you put too much concealer on that area. You see that with just a little bit color corrector, she's ready to go. Like this skin is so gorgeous. Like for someone who don't want to wear any makeup, this is the best way for you to do. Just use a little bit color corrector, look straight for me. And you can see it's pretty much gone. Close your eye. I also gonna put a little bit right here just to brighten up the area a little bit.
you can see that it does brighten up the area just from color corrector. So far, that's just a color corrector. I'm going to use a little foundation on Rada right now. She has really gorgeous skin. You don't need too much. I think that's all I'm going to put. And I'm just going to blend it out. Just even a little bit. That's all I need to do. You can see I do more tippling motion like this. So this way is get the coverage without removing any of the color corrector I used earlier. Just a little bit and it just even the skin flawlessly. Next, I'm going to use the concealer. This one I'm using is a soft matte concealer. It's a more dry concealer which is great when you cover all the shadow here it will stay it doesn't move at all i'm not going to go all the way up to the lash line because i like those natural shadow it can make her eye look even bigger so that's why i don't want to cover them just cover a little bit on the bottom here and then in the corner here And then around the nose, around the mouth area. I also use some concealer on the corner of the socket here as well. For powder, I'm using from Huda Beauty. I'm going to use two different shades. We're going to list it, everything on the description box and on the screen for you to see. I use a tiny bit lighter color under the eye area. And the more honey tone I'm using everywhere else on the face. Now I'm going to use a bronzer from Fenty just to warm the skin up and to bring out some definition on the face. I start from here a little bit on the cheekbone and this color is not drastically different than her skin it just warm up a little bit only which I love because it still look very natural it's like she just have a little glow you see that a little bit here I use the same bronzer on this side and you see that I go very gentle application you can see that it just keeps the, the face a lot of warm a lot of definition next I'm going to use the blush from one side beauty normally I would go the brown first eye first blush after but I'm gonna give the face a little color before I even start doing the eye and this blush color is gorgeous they have cream matte and shimmer I will use mainly on the matte I want to keep the skin everything pretty matte and you see i do very little bit at a time and you blend it out you don't want to put too much her skin look like butter right now and so i don't want to disturb anything you see the application just gently and you just press the products in I'm going to do the lip first before I even do brow and eye because I think it looks, I just want to build all, all the way up, not the way down. And I'm going to use this new lip color from Rare Beauty and the matching lip liner. They're more a warm, rosy color, and I think it's beautiful. To start, I want to define the lips to follow the lip shape that she already has. This lip liner and lipstick formulation is really beautiful. They are gorgeous matte lipstick, but they're very hydrated. So it's not too dry, which I love. So let's talk about lip liner again. I, I talked in multiple videos already. You can see that her natural lip shape is actually right here. 
but then the color starts from here. So you can have a choice whether you're gonna go from that way or you can go this way. We're doing this way, it's not overdraw. To me, that's her lip shape. So I'm gonna go the higher part. And that way I'm gonna draw the lip shape. So this way, it makes the lip very sensual and very full. So if you follow the color, it's gonna be down here. So it's better start from the way up here. You see, I use just the lip pencil and I filled in the whole lips. I mean, she can actually just wear it like this. She doesn't need to wear lipstick, but I'm gonna use the same lipstick, same shade in lipstick. Big smile for me. I think this lip color is so gorgeous. This color can be very universal on pretty much everyone. I think it's quite a beautiful rose tone and it does have enough warmth, so it's actually really gorgeous. For eyebrow, I'm going to use the brow width, brow pen, and the brow freeze, all product from Anastasia for brow, and to create that brow shape today. To start, I'm using the brow width. I draw backward a little bit, just create more depth there. Rada eyebrow quite beautiful. She didn't tweeze them at all, and I'm not gonna try to tweeze them. I think when you tweeze someone's eyebrow, unless they really dedicated to spend time every day to tweak them, otherwise there's no point. You still create beautiful eyebrow without tweezing them thin. And that's why I'm trying to keep exactly the same, the brow shape, and I'm just gonna enhance them. You see this part, it losing a little gap, so I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit. So you just see where you want to feel the eyebrow in and that's how I do eyebrow and try to use a lighter shade than what you think. So if you think that her eyebrow is dark brown, try use a soft brow because the density of the hair plus the eyebrow will make the eyebrow look even darker. So it's better just do lighter shades and it still looks softer for you. You see I lift it up a little bit and instead draw all the way here, I just feather it out. So I don't want to follow the shape too much because it's going to go down this way. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit this way. Just a little bit like the way I do. Next, I'm gonna use a brow marker and you draw a few individual hair. So the brow is something like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to set the eyebrow with the brow frizz a little bit. Just brush it up. For eyeshadow, eyeliner, I'm you from Charlotte Tilbury. For mascara, I'm you from KVD. All the name, the shades, they are a little too complicated for me to remember. <laughs> I'm gonna list everything in the description box and you guys can figure it out because I can't try to remember all the name and my team is laughing at me um, when I try to say all the name. So I'm gonna keep everything in the kind of similar family like this. So the liner I'm doing just along the lash line a little bit and I blend it out. You can use the brow if you like. You can use black color if you like. I try to get everything that rosy, burgundy, you know, like this tone. And I think it's just gorgeous. You see that I just do a tiny bit of eyeliner and I blend it out with a small blending brush like this. 
And what I'm going to do, I can add a little more in here and I just blend it out. I'm not trying to make the eye look too complicated. Everything pretty simple, straightforward. And then I do a little more along the lash line. And I use the same color, just the upper waterline as well. Something like that. I think it's her eye really elongate this way. I think it's gorgeous. I'm doing the same on the other side. So instead of the black liner or brown liner, you see this like cranberry color. I did something like that. Next step, I use the light color. Remember, I use more this kind of brush instead of the big fluffy brush because I think this is more control. I use it along the lower lash line. I find this smaller brush, you know exactly you can put the products. You know, sometimes it's too big, it gets messy, it's harder to plan. Do the same on this side. Next, same shade, same brush. I do mainly from the outer part. Remember, try to avoid too much color there because she does have deeper socket eye. And if you put too much color, the eye looks so dark. So I'm using mainly from the outer part. I blend it out on the edges here. Very soft-handed little bit at a time you see I do it very little and I just blend it out something like that I'm doing the same on the other side next you use a clean brush and just blend it out a little bit So it's all go almost like no color there to diffuse out. And the same brush, and this time I'm using the deeper shades. Just a little bit only. From this part, I just brush it up a little bit. So it's keep the eye a lot more lift. You can use the same shade or the shadow as well if you like, but I'm just using a little bit deeper. And this way, just give natural, you know, direction going up this way. You can see that it does keep the eye flow this way. I'm doing the same on the other side. For highlighter, I'm using this palette from the Nesta Myris. This is the shade I'm using, one of these two shades. And I'm going to use a fan brush. I love how matte the makeup looks. I'm not going to keep too much shimmery. So a little bit highlight is great. I'm going to tip the nose. A little bit here. not too much so i just do very little everywhere this is a beautiful palette for deeper skin tone and i'm showing you in the whole palette so you can see them you can see a lot of options you can play with them then this way for me it's just gorgeous now i go back to the eye and i change my mind i'm gonna add a little bit of this color in the water line as well i think it's gonna be Make her eye even more stand out, more beautiful. Same color, just a little bit on the waterline. Not too much, something like that. I'm going to curl the lash a little bit before I do mascara. For mascara, I still love how soft the look is. So I'm using just one coat on the upper lashes and one on the lower, not too much. Really just define the eye, but not make it too much of a statement of the mascara. 
This is a great vegan mascara that you can try. It does give you a lot of volume if you want or just define a lash like what I'm doing right now. Look down for me. Just do a little more touch up here. But I don't want too much. But for this mascara, you can actually build them if you like. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with a setting spray from Danessa Myris. This is the oil control setting spray. That is the final look, guy. I hope you enjoy the look. We honestly did not know what we planned to do. We was going to do like black liner, dark lips, and this is what we turned out. And I hope you enjoy the video. Um, it, that's just about makeup, you know. We work, we play, and we go. When Rada come, I didn't really have a plan. And this is the final look. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you all enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumb up, share the video and don't forget to follow both Rada and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you.